What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness here at Intensityville with my brother Jonathan, bringing you guys an International Chest Day motivation, inspiration, and intensity clip to show you what we did a couple weeks back now. This is at uh, 3.15, my last set of 10. We were doing two to three sets of 10 with a pause at the end. Now, I like doing that pause for several reasons. Number one, I'm a whole lot stronger when I pause at the end there. Gets everything kind of wound up tight to get a better breath. I recruit the central nervous system as well as getting those tendons locked in place and the joints are not about to fall out of the sockets and incorporate the muscles a lot better. Now, a lot of people can't pause like that to get better strength and some people can. I just happen to be one of those that really do like to pause rep. So try it out at the end of your set and see how much better you feel or how worse you feel. Sometimes you need to work on things that do not make you feel as good, but get better and build more muscle. Just something you can try out at home. This is 275. Now I tried 315 for a set of 10. I don't know what the problem was. Some days I'm strong, some days I'm weak, but that 315 killed me. So I dropped down to 275, got my good two more sets of 275 with those pauses at the end. I was feeling really froggy and I jumped on 315 for a set of 20 here. Now I actually only got about 18. I had a good spotter there watching me for my 19th and 20th rep. So I got those last two in. Uh, but that's the end of our barbell presses, and we're pressing late at night here at Intensiveville. I'm sorry, the lighting is not that good, and we're doing it. I'm doing it in my blue jeans and my flannel shirt. I happen to have the name on the front of the door there, so I work out in blue jeans when I feel like it. And it's not going to hurt you unless you're squatting or deadlifting, and then it might cause some pinching in a place that you don't want to be pinched at while you're squatting or deadlifting. Moving on to the last couple of uh, accessory exercises there. I like to do some pec deck or some cable crossover. I get my elbows really high. I keep the hands below the elbows for that better stretch. Uh, and you see if you start to put your hands a little bit higher that you rotate that rotator cuff around, you get a little bit more deltoid involved. I like to keep those elbows high. Finishing up with some tricep work, I get those accessory muscles moving, lubricated and stronger, as well as making those arms bigger. Now those triceps are definitely the gas pedal to the uh, chest press. As long as you're doing it all right, you incorporate the chest, you get a little bit of triceps, some back, some traps, some leg drive. You know what I'm talking about, all you bench pressers out there. But finishing up the last tricep push down there, only just two and two. Not really focusing on anything, but just, again, some a little bit of accessory movements. And that's a wrap. Appreciate you guys watching. I've got a lot of links in the description box I want you guys to check out. FitCon Texas 2017 is right around the corner. Here's my next announced special guest, Rip Rosales, two-time world champion, second-degree black belt. She is a badass, and she'll be a special guest out there. I'm going to leave her links down in the description box. She's got a new YouTube channel. Go give her a follow on all of her social medias. And if you need more information, check out the website, BigJStreamFitness.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Tensity Rules, Train Hardcore. Share this video with your friends and family, and we'll see you next video.